Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the lead code question same tree. This is also the 13th question of the July uh, lead code challenge. All right, so basically we're given two trees, P and Q. And all we got to do is if P and Q are the same, then we return a value of true. And if they're not the same, we return a value of false. So as you can see, they're both the same over here, so you get true. Now, if you look over here, you uh, return false because over you ha you have one and two is the left uh, left child, but over here two is the right child, so they're different. So we return false and yeah. So let's see how we can solve this question. So like with most tree questions, we're gonna be using recursion to solve this, and in order to use recursion, we need to first set a couple of base cases. So let's just look at what different base cases we might have. So the first one is when we have null and null. So both the trees have, there's nothing, they're both null, right? And in that case, we're gonna return true because when you don't have anything in both of them, it's they're still the same tree. Now in our second case, what's gonna happen is one of them exists while the other is null. So in that case, we're going to return false since they're not the same. Now what we're going to do is, now we have a case where they both exist. So two exist. So we know that there's something in both of them, but we don't know what the value is. So now what we're going to do is two exist, but they have different values. Now in that case, what's going to we're also going to get false. So, once we go past these three base cases, in the ending, we're gonna have an else statement where we're gonna check for the left nodes of our P node. And so we're gonna, so for P and Q, we're gonna first check both of their left nodes, the left children. And simultaneously, we're also gonna check for its right, for P's right nodes and uh, similarly Q's right nodes. And we're gonna return the value of both of them. So let's say everything on the left is true. So we're gonna, it's the same. So we're gonna get a value of true. But if everything on the right is false, uh, then what happens even if we have one false, uh, our final answer is gonna be false. So the only way we have true is if both of them, so the left nodes and the right nodes are both the same. So let's see this in code, which should be a lot easier to understand. So first we're going to check if both P and Q are null. So if not P and not Q, so both of them are null. In that case, we're going to return true. Now the other conditions that we have, they all have a value of uh, false. So else if we're going to put in our conditions and we're just going to return true false in that case. So what are these conditions? So if not P and Q, so that's one of our conditions. Now the other one is if not Q and P. So over here we're seeing, so P doesn't exist, but Q does. And over here Q doesn't exist, but P does. And one more thing we need to check is or, so in this case, both of them do exist, but they have different values. So Q.val, not equal to uh, p dot val. So over here they have different values. And in that case, we're gonna return false for any of those three conditions. Now finally, else, what we're gonna do is we're gonna return. So we're gonna call the same function. So solution dot is same tree. Okay, so first we're gonna call this function on the left nodes, sorry, self, so we're gonna call this function on the left nodes of P and Q. So P dot left and Q dot left. And uh, we're also gonna call this uh, function again on the right nodes. So solution dot is same tree and self comma P dot right and Q dot right. Okay, so uh, we're gonna return this value. And like we said before, 
if one of them is true and one is false, it's going to return false. And it's only going to return true when both the left nodes and the right nodes are both the same. So let's submit this and see what we get. It should be accepted. And yeah, so our solution did get accepted. And finally, do let me know if you have a better solution to solve this. And thanks a lot for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you.